I was using a new audio fucking. I got like a new uh, audio interface thing, but I don't uh, know how to fuck raise the volume on my mic yet. Mm -hmm. I don't know how any of that tech shit works. It's all too complex for little old me. All good. Uh, I sent you. Uh, so the game, the game one, uh, is is just uh, a regular game that I wanted to look at. Game two, I don't think we really have to look at. I just get like four sucked because uh, of the ending of game one. I think uh it puts me in another universe. Because <laughs> uh, the ending of game one is really unfortunate, and then Anthony goes sorry when I ask him what he bans, and I just was furious. Understandable. Uh, but I think I really just want to focus on uh i want to focus on understanding how i'm getting my hits and like what is like what is like the specific reasons on why i'm getting the hits i'm getting uh because i think the punish is like kind of like irrelevant because like i constantly send you and like geo and josh man clips of like how i'm punishing wrong so i'm like kind of like always working on that kind of thing mm. um so i think that it's not too important about the punish when I watch, but I want to just focus more on like why specifically I am getting the hits I'm getting and like how to like make my neutral interactions much better. Uh, cause I, cause I think like, like the week leading up to this tournament that I played Anthony at, uh, I was practicing punish a lot and I think it kind of showed. Uh, but I think if I just like would have had better neutral, I think I would have just won pretty cleanly. Uh, cause I think I was leading the whole time and then. I just get kind of owned at the very end. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I think I really just want to focus on like how I can get hits cuz I think I think the flow chart is starting to like come to me slowly of how to like get like really big hits uh like really big punishes rather against like Fox. Yeah. Um and I think that I feel almost pretty comfortable. I mean, there's obviously like certain small things that I think I'll like always ask forever. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like where my main thoughts are. Okay, that sounds good. We could get right into that then. I don't have any thoughts of my own. <coughs> uh, right now. Okay. Well, that running shine made sense. You saw him jump, and you were like, "Well, I'm going to try and whiff punish him." And then once you didn't running shot, or once it didn't hit, you play the situation well. Here was like, yeah, I think I just dashed away because he was just gonna come down with bear, right? That's like, yeah, makes perfect sense. It's there is actually a mix up here technically, but most people kind of just autopilot and either run off platform or go to top plat. Like, there's very few people who are gonna like double jump back to top platform like this. And then read you going to the left, and then like she'll drop drill or something. So yeah, I think it's totally fine to, you know, always do this dash bag, but do be aware that you can get hit in this spot. And so like, when you dude, do get hit, have the plan. Yeah, dude, this situation actually looks like I can do the, or I can just hold down and dash grab him. Like if he back airs right here, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I feel like I'm in the perfect spot to do it. Yeah, I don't know, you feel the same way maybe. I think this is one of the spots where you can do that, but why I personally like dashing back. So the, the I guess the dichotomy of the situation is dashing forward and trying to ASDI down or CC this bear is on the table. And it's good because it's the most direct way to interact with it. And it also puts you um, horizontally closer if he decides to go up. And then if he tries to read you going into the corner, you're also avoiding that. And so it's good against a bunch of things but the problems of it are percent wise it's kind of awkward because if you get true cc instead of asci down you get sakura angled and so then i don't think you could cc grab if you get sakura oh, angled i see you could cc you could still shine but you can't grab and so that's something to be aware of um and then there's also soft bear it could happen for crouching because you're lower and you might expecting might be expecting to hit your head, which could have happened. Um, there's also the added nuance of he could do runoff drill here, and then you're getting hit with one of the worst moves you can. You can't make it to ledge if he shines you this direction. And so it's like you kind of just get drill shine, true tech chase, and like 
either chain grab them in the center of a stage or up throw up air. And so it's like, it, it like the there is a chance that something really, really bad happens where I don't think there's something that is really, really bad if you like dash back. And so it's like, yeah, being aware, I guess. It's not even like you should pick one or the other. Both are fine, but like you should know that how they could go wrong, you know? Yeah. Because if Safer, you get drilled in the corner, he does dash, uh, dash back drill to read your dash back. That's totally fine. You're going to get shined to the corner. You're going to get shined yeah. to the ledge, and you're going to refresh and ledge dash, and it's going to be like, wow, that was easy. So, yeah, this is safer, but you get less immediate value, both positioning-wise, if he goes up, and also punish-wise, where you probably have to shine this and then tech chase, compared to, like, being able to just draw grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do yeah, agree that is a potential spot for it. Um, But the running shine was good. Now... A problem with the running shine is you hit this running shine and you specifically this is something we might have talked about in other lessons where it's like lining up um the actions with your intentions and so it's like you intended pretty clearly to just whiff punish that bear straight up right yeah. and that was clear yeah. from the moment you dash back but if you were intending to true whiff punish it why do running shine there instead of like running shine crouch or running shine thunders combo right mm, yeah i think the one thing i'm trying to incorporate the most right now is when i hit a shine or when i end up in a scenario where they are uh they are miss tech uh and i don't just directly punish the miss tech it's just hold down and do the and do like reaction tech chase mm. uh i think that is like a thing that i'm just like trying really hard to work on to incorporate because that situation is actually like perfect for like why am i not doing that there i agree uh, when i like got that like such good juicy punish off of or like just basically got exactly what i wanted and then didn't really get like a huge thing out of it yeah yeah i, I super agree there's so many spots where it's like if you catch someone with running shine when they aren't expecting it it is pretty much guaranteed miss tech and so you can just crouch tech chase and get the grab you know yeah I also feel like a lot of time they just are get up attacking when like they're when you get the shine punish because they're not expecting it so they were typically hitting a button too. Yep. So like holding down is just gonna net you a crouch cancel anyway. Yep, I definitely agree. I think he does it too. Also, I'm not sure if it's like on purpose or not, but it, it literally happened exactly how he <laughs> reacted. But still, it would have been an easy, you know. Yeah. 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 No, I, I definitely agree. I think working on that one thing that Drag Fox has told me that I also found a lot of value from is he was like, when I was getting better, the main thing that made me just start doing better with other foxes in the ditto is the fact that I tech chased off shine. And nowadays people tech chase off shine, but like, I think a lot of the time they're leading more towards reads. And if you sit there and you're like, I'm going to hit every miss tech no matter what, and then be good at covering roles and maybe play a mix up around tech in place, you will always just out punish the opponent fox, you know? Yeah off shine at least and i think that matters a lot because that carries you really far grab good grab you can't up air that you have to nair let me see it again grab up air up air oh this is a nair yeah yeah since he you could have gone in up air but the way to do it you would have had to change how you did your second up air so like oh i have a falling up air you could do the rising up air too I do oh. agree that falling up air is on the table, but but the main part is if you did this up air and then drifted to the left, you would end up right here, right? Mm. Instead of being right here, because you did up air drift in place. And so then being right here, starting your dash, you see how like you get the angle yeah, for the up air? Saying. Yeah. And so I since gotcha. you didn't... You're, yeah. Is, do you think it's true if your momentum is not going... Like, because my first up air, my momentum is going with the fox. If my momentum is not going... Is it pretty is unlikely that I will get a, the next up air and I should try to like nair or bear? Like, is that is that how you would say it works? Yeah, or? yeah, I okay. agree. Okay. Yeah, it's it's pretty much if you're not drifting towards them, you probably can up air, and if you are, you probably can. I see. I see. Yeah, and I think it's yeah, similar it's for like yeah, for see. like reverse bear, reverse bear. If you're drifting towards them, you could definitely get it. If you're not, you probably have to nair because the front hitbox is bigger. I see. I see. Oh, you messed up your up air. Yeah. Uh, let's see this hit. This snare, definitely not very good, I think. No. I think if you nared from the spot you initially landed, it could have been good. Like, if you right fell here. down, then just dash up nared, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. 
but since you dash back, it's kind of like the thing where it's like you dashing back is a defensive option, and at least in melee, it's not really reliable to do defensive into aggressive or aggressive into defensive. Once you pick one, you kind of lock into like a certain set of options, you know? Mm, yeah, I see. Yeah, I have advantage right now. There's no reason to dash back. I like, think I dashing back's fine. Too, even... I think dashing back's fine. It just depends on yeah. what you want to do. Because yeah. if you want to like hit him as directly as possible, I agree. Dashing back probably isn't what you should do. But if you want to like play it more indirectly meaning that you're safer overall but probably get a you know less valuable punish then dashing back makes perfect sense because something that could totally happen is he could wake up and then just dash forward nair and then nair right here and so then dashing back is great because you get to up smash it or grab it or whatever and you're safe but then you know if you wanted to hit him directly then you know you'd have to like do something different like they're, it, they're good for you know, they're just good for yeah, different things. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And there are some spots where your advantage is so overwhelming that not playing directly is a bad decision. But here it's like you had maybe three frames of advantage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's see. I think okay, one. <laughs> you had literally one, right? And it's like they're that's like essentially an even position, you know? Yeah, I see and, what you're saying. So it's okay to pick both. Uh, but it was good to spot dodge after. Since I did the shitting area. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like, I got to shine or I got to dash back. But it's like, if you're deep enough in, I think shining sucks because the hitbox is smaller than most moves. So you might accidentally lose. And dashing back sucks because you're too close to actually get out effectively. And jump is bad for the same reason where it's too slow. Um, yeah. And so it's like, spot dodge is great. I like spot dodging and I like crouching. If I know that they're going to nair... Or bear or something. I'm down to crouch it. But if I like am not sure, I'll spot dodge or hold shield. And that's fine. Nice. This is good. You know that you're in the scramble and he's scared. And so you're like, I'm gonna set up a whiff punish. So you do a good dash dance. There is one problem though, this dash back was too far. So you ended yeah, up not getting a true punish. Pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, you see how you don't through whip punish him he's yeah he's dashing. trying to dash back after his drill yeah and i think I this is a spot saying. where you can't react this is kind of like important for the ditto where it's like there's a lot of spots where you can't react enough to perfectly tell what's going on but you could react well enough to know kind of what's going on and then lean towards a certain type of option and so it's like with this dash back you know that he jumps you don't know necessarily what type of jump or like what move he's doing or whatever but like since you saw that he at least jumped, you could lean towards, okay, well, a you know, a reasonable thing to punish is I'm going to just hit a drift forward action. And then you could stop your dash back and turn early, like right here, for example. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. It was still good, though. He also missed his up cancel, now that I think about it. That's why it was so close. I did not see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. Holy shit. Yeah, that's why it looked so close. You would have been like... Probably an extra, I think, four or five frames later if he didn't miss his all cancel. So, like, the dash, yeah. you know, dash length matters. Um, that nair's fine. It feels newbie, but when Fox is at knockdown percent, you can just kind of bully him with nairs, so. Yeah, Geo says whenever, because I've always, I feel like I asked him a while ago about struggling with, like, higher percent uh, Fox, and he's like, you just literally have to spam aerials a lot of the time. Yeah. And because you're at the lower percent, and a, a lot of the time they have to like take up kind of bad gamble to like hit you when you're at the percent advantage here. Yep, I agree. Your goal is to just make them have to play the worst mix up to hit you. Where it's like, yeah, if they want to hit you, they have to get hit by Nair some portion of the time. And getting hit by Nair means they're probably going to guarantee get edge guarded or something, right? Yeah. Hmm. I like this back air, but I feel like you gave up too much space. I just, yeah, I just, I just ran away, basically. Yeah, and then you tried to, like, take the space back once you gave it up. Yeah. I think once you give this up, you're now fighting from here, not right here. If you could see my mouse. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh-oh. Grab. Up. That is actually impossible to tell. <laughs> Very hard. Mm, yeah yeah it's like it's hard to tell if you'd land on the platform or not if he didn't I wonder if 
Yeah, I wonder if Nair is just better there. I think Nair is the correct thing to do. Because Zephyr doesn't kill. What I do is if I know that he's not going to land on the platform, I just run up up smash. And if he, if I do know that he's going to land on the platform, what you could do to make it really easy on yourself to get like a true combo always is you Fox drop forward to right here and then you tech chase. And so then you hit tech in place, tech in with either like tech in place with rising bear in place to hit him that way or tech in with dash back rising bear to hit him that way. And then if he techs away, then you just dash out of that spot and then bear him towards that way. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. 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 I think bear tech chase is like, good at these percents because since it's so fast you can true tech chase everything from below the platform yeah i get you uh-oh oh that shield drop bear was not good it was yeah it was really telegraphed yeah, it was just like a you even waited because you're like i don't want to chill drop bear instantly but it's like he's not gonna go to the spot he's a fox is 108 percent this is yeah this is when i should jump around the platforms a little bit and take my time on getting down i agree i think it's broken to full hop double jump land up here wave dash to the edge of the platform and waste time just like make sure that you stay up going down is not very good Ooh, yeah dash that got very good he almost owns me for the shield drop too yeah and then i just like want a greedy ass dash attack yeah, it's like you just be spamming aerials here. I agree. If you did dash back back air and then just like some weird full hop or dash back nair combination, just anything that puts out a move that's annoying to deal with, this position is so much worse for him. But the fact that you're yeah. like, I want to move into the corner, you just like give up everything. Yeah. And now you might get back though, jammed. Oh. That was another dash tech. Yeah. This is also a problem with attacking into the corner. If you nair, Fox gets low enough to wave dash. Or if he wave dashes when you nair, he gets low enough to go past you. And so now oh. this is the worst possible position. Yeah. That's a secret yeah. technique that <laughs> I don't think many people do intentionally. No, yeah, it kind of just happens. Uh, you're, you really want these dash tags. Really do. That one was better. Um, why does this one work? Is this just because he's because I whiff punish his running shine? Yeah, he thought that he'd have enough time to hit you directly after you land from that bear, and then you get to hit him for it. Yeah, which is like fine. Yeah, which which is like way different than my other three dash techs, which were just like him on the ground either dash or like dashing or like fielding like that dash tech like had way more purpose than the past three. I agree. The other ones were you trying to hit him. This one was you hitting him for trying to hit you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that makes it a lot better. Bad invincibility. You just gotta start yeah, ignoring them. Literally. Yeah. You could just land on this platform and turn your just close your eyes and you'll be like, wow, I'm chilling. But now you go on the ground and it's just like, oh, what the hell? Uh oh. I like the double jump. The laser's probably not the best, but it's fine. And then after this drill, I think the drill is fine, but trying to like keep going afterward is really bad. Yeah, it feels like like watching myself back and just like trying to execution test him with the second drill. Yeah, I agree. You just want to like something good to happen for you. Yeah. And I have like a stock lead, so I don't really need to like gamble. Yeah, I agree. Like you could just like Shine full hop and be like, oh, well, I'm safe. Yeah. Mm. See what you tried to hit with this running shine? Tried to whip punish that Nair. Oh, I tried to hit his Nair and he just owned me for that. I think. Sec secret tip in the ditto, you should ignore like 80% of the random moves your opponent does. Mm. I think Fox is really, really, really bad at whiff punishing himself. And he's really, really, really good at stopping himself from whiff punishing him. It's like, it's just the perfect storm of Fox being very bad at hitting himself, you know? Yeah. It's like Fox Nair. Yeah. It's Fox Nair in its entirety, if he fast falls it correctly, is 14 frames. That is your reaction time. You can't even see that he did anything before he lands, you know? It's, it's like. You're just not going to actually be able to whiff punish those things unless you were already either soft reading it and set up 
or like i mean that's it <laughs> that's it yeah i or feel like if i see a space animal just doing aerials like in place i should just wave dash down in front of them mm -hmm. i like, agree I, like i feel like i feel like this scenario actually is so common like not even like that he turn around up tilts but like They'll do aerial in place and they'll just do anything. Yeah. And like it's usually something laggy that if I wave dash down, I just re react and like punish. Like it's not even like like it doesn't even need to be that complicated. Yeah, I agree. I also think another part of the situation that is important um, is like their perspective. So for them, they're mm -hmm. like, let's see the snare. He's like, I need to defend myself. I'm going to nair. And he sees that you're dashing forward. You know, yes. by the time he lands, he can see that you're dashing forward, and he's like, "Fuck, I need to do something to defend myself." And he mm -hmm. can't tell; he just knows that you're, you know, somewhat near him and probably moving towards him. And so it's like that's where like the wave dash down is really broken, is because all he sees is a dash. He doesn't; he can't tell anything else by the time you hit him. And so if yeah. you wave dash down here, he will just whiff unless he's willing to like play more indirectly around you just running forward. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh, that should have been a shorten. That's unfortunate. Oh, I wonder if does he catch me with shorten? Oh, does he catch me with forward tilt if uh, I shorten there actually? Mm, yes, I think you're okay. at the length where shorter shorten doesn't make it, and mid shorten is like really far. Yeah. Like short shorten, yeah. I think goes right here, and then mid shorten goes like right here. So you still get hit anyways. Uh, yeah, you probably would own me there anyway. Yeah, probably not the best idea. Dude, he does the me invincibility. <laughs> yeah, he just goes up, then you hit him. Well, but then you mess up the combo, but you get it again. But then oh, you mess I up again. Have gone on, I shouldn't have gone on the top platform, I think. Yeah. I think something good here. The upper ended up working out, but I don't think it's reliable. I think a good thing to do after this up tilt, where you, if you can know that the second up tilt won't hit, you do run off Nair here. And then if they mm -hmm. DI in, you get, like, a dash a attack, dash. or, like, Ooh, yeah. you just get a hit, and if they uh, DI away, then they, like, have to fall down to right here, which is right above ledge, and then you could, like, drop through forward tilt or something, yeah. and then hit the side B if they want to go as fast as possible. Um, yeah. Good falling up there, but now you just jumped immediately, actually. Like, I didn't need to fall off the platform. Yeah, you could have just or turned around. Dash. And yeah, then... I could do the... F yeah. I I agree. Dashing made it. You just couldn't dash, I guess. Yeah. Mm. I think you realized that you could have punished the grab, but you have to grab. Nair is yeah, really bad that. at punishing things because look. Yeah, I'm just so late with Nair at that point. It's so also that Nair goes high and Fox is almost always low. Oh, I see what you're saying. And so you see how like your Nair is already out, but it's not hitting him. And that's because mm. he's crouching, moving up into it. You see? And then yeah. by the time that he's up, oh, he's just crouching. And now, you know, you get CC shined. And there is, like, a remedy to this. This The um the way to, like, have Nair be with punish is instead of jumping early and then doing a middle Nair, you go, you dash further and then do a rising Nair. That's, like, oh, the Cody Schwab strat. But I don't think that's very good overall like i'd be very i think it's good in specific situations where fox is double jumping around and you know he's gonna land with a drill and you just need to hit him and grab is too like imprecise or too is too precise you know yeah. and so then it's like <clears throat> i could use a bigger move and hit him more likely here i would have almost guaranteed just forward through him off the stage he's at super high percent and he'd go pretty low from the forward throw. Maybe he's holding down, and then he DIs down on forward throw. And then it's like, if you hit the snare, there's a lot more annoying things on the table, like accidental CCs, um, slide off fast falls to ledge, or like, it also just sends higher than forward throw. So instead of it being like you forward throw, and he ends up like further off the stage, maybe around like this height, he ends up like right here. And that matters a lot, you know? Because this means instant side is on the table, and you have to think about that. Double jump up all the way up here, and then whatever's on the table. Instead of it being like he's down here and then his double jump goes to like maybe slightly around the edge, you know? Yeah. So I, I prefer for throw here. Definitely a grab spot. I think this narrow is also very greedy. You're just yeah. kind of trying to force the issue. It's like after this, you know he's in a bad spot. If you want to hit him, I'd run up grab or I'd walk up F tilt. <laughs> and both are broken. But this yeah, narrow is just like my full body in. Yeah. 
you put your whole body in, and then it also just Nair isn't good at hitting. It's just not good at hitting in these spots. Nair is best when you're hitting someone out the air, you know? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, I was not prepared to edge guard either. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's because you, like, weren't sure if a shine was going to, like, hit. And so you're like, I got to double jump away. But I feel like if you're going to be nearing into the corner and it's shining, you should just assume it's going to hit. And then you could do, like, shine, turn around, full hop, grab ledge. Yeah. And then you're in a really good spot to edge guard this up. Because now you're in the weird position where you either have to have perfect tech skill, so you get to ledge fast enough to shine the up B like that. Or you stay on stage and then have a hard time covering everything, which is exactly what happened. Yep. Yep. Here's another example of Nair being not that good to deal with people on the ground. Look at Fox after he up tilts. It just, oh, crouches under. It doesn't matter, you know? So interesting, yeah. Good shield grab. You have to wave land up smash. Yeah, is it because of the percent he's at? Yeah. Okay. Up, at this percent, on every DI, well, technically not no DI under the platform, but every DI where he has to DI to the platform, at, like, these percents, you simply just wave land and then tech chase up smash. Yeah, okay. Nice. Piece of... You baited him. So you full hop to the plat, and instead of, like, falling back through, you land on the plat. And he thinks that you'd fall through. That's oh, how you went see. back. Yeah. Uh-oh. You, you, did, you did the yeah. U. Yep. I like this corner play. Ooh. I liked everything about the I corner play up to the drill. Yeah. I got, like, kind of stuck on the edge for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I think drilling off wasn't the best idea. Like, no, I... I think... This is, like, such a great position, and Anthony made a mistake. He's double jumping and has to fall to the ground. You now get to full hop over him and either go to plat or land on the ground. Yeah. But when you do this, you, like, are still in his zone. Like, technically, he could have full hop rising bear here, you know? Yeah. I'm, like, trying to punish him double jumping almost like he's fucked up, but I'm so late that yeah. I just, like, am doing something really bad now. Yeah. I think you just gotta... It's... When you're in the corner... The way I view the corner is I will almost never, ever try and actually hit my opponent for doing something unless I'm 100% sure. Otherwise, I will simply, I could miss opportunities. I don't care. I just need to get out the corner. Because when you're in the corner, the amount of times you like lose interactions compared to win interactions, is it's like 80-20. Like you're going to lose 80% of the interactions you play in the corner. And so it's like, I need to avoid these no matter what, even if my opponent gives me the easiest opening. Because if I something could go wrong if I try and like lean into the fact that they could I could hit them, you know? And of course something goes wrong and you totally could have died there. If Anthony yeah. was better, he would have tech chased from under the plat and then just back aired you off the stage, you know? Yeah, do you know what he killed me here? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. This is really good. End up in a weird scramble, and instead of trying to him directly after your roll, you know, you dash back. He judges wrong and tries to dash back. You get the easy whiff punish. You mess up your combo, but that's fine. Yeah, I definitely flubbed the up air. That's okay. Nice. This is really good, too. That was good. The good part is the patience. So you land, and instead of being like, I need to do something, I got to dash forward, you just wait because you know that. It's yeah, he hard. Wants to fall off, yeah. yeah, he wants to like do something, and it's hard to hit you in that exact spot. Like the the thing about melee is everyone gets in the mode where it's like I got to hit my opponent where they're going, but then they like don't actually like take into account why people want to move into spots, you know. Mm -hmm. And so then they like autopilot doing things like this, which is like reading preemptive dash forwards or whatever. And so now you waited, and you get an easy whip punish on this bear. Yeah. I should have been up there. Maybe? I agree. Definitely up there. Yeah. yeah. The tournament winners. That was a better nerve than the other ones. This one mainly because you like leaned into the fact that it was meant to pressure and not punish. You say you did it later. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Ooh, I think 
the pressure. I don't even think I need better. to go to the platform to him. I think it's fine, but I kind of feel like. So, I guess what I would have done is in this spot. I probably would have not gone to the platform instantly. Like I would have bared right here, but that's because the timing to go to the platform was off. You see how by the time you were able to get to the platform, he was able to like move. Mm, Normally, yeah, I, I want to go to the platform like significantly before, so I can like use fall through bear to cover him being on the ground. You know. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Probably not the best, but uh, I think I could have just shine and tech chased instead to try to get a kill. I think honestly, it's the big thing is that in this spot specifically. Because he's so close to kill percent, actually just raw tech and he's like closer to the corner. It's better to raw tech chase here than like try and hit him off the ground. Like if you did this oh, wave dash hold down and wait for him to do something. Yeah, because what happens okay. is if he rolls away, he's rolling into the corner and he either has to di in on an up smash or di way off stage. Hmm. Um, and I don't know if di in on up smash kills at eighty. I don't think it does. I could I have a little fucking thing. I could open it up right now. Eighty is. Yeah, no, it, it's it's too low, but I also I think like 80, 85 is where it starts, but yeah, 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 I think it's too low for even DIN to kill. It's pretty close, so he'd probably be like, I don't want to DIN on an up smash, right? He dies away and dies instantly or something. Or yeah. if he mistex here, you get to grab, and then because the X percent you get from a pummel up throw, you now get to like either up throw up smash if he dies to the right on the grab, and you get to charge it so it kills. Or he wave land on wave lands or I mean DIs to the plat and you get to wave land tech chase up smash. Yeah. And because he's higher up and a higher percent, it will kill, you know? Or if he uh, or you go. Yeah. I was gonna say what uh so I know after forty five uh you're supposed to do the single hit up air and then tech chase with grab when they land on platform, but what percent is it at that you start doing the tech chase up smash on platforms? Probably like 90 to 100. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I guess just to finish the thought, if he mistech and then rolls in in this spot, it's mm -hmm. the same exact thing as if he uh, like neutral get ups. Yeah, if he he just ends up in the same spot but a different uh place on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either like and he doesn't want to di to the middle of the stage because he'll get up smashed. Yep, so he'll he get up smashed. Has, he has to go to the. Platform. Yeah, he has to go to the platform and at least force you to tech chase. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So that's why it's better to tech chase in that spot specifically. Yes, yeah. Um, so greedy. I put myself in such a bad spot because of that. Yeah. I like, go, I like get in front of him, basically, and I put myself closer to the ledge than him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't think that... I don't even, like, necessarily have any problems with the bear. Because it could have hit, and it, like, was close to hitting. You just did it poorly. If you went as fast as possible, it probably would have hit. The main problem I have is once you get to this spot, you need to know that you are in a bad spot and play it defensively. Yeah, it should be shield or like get to the very tippy corner. <laughs> yeah, like probably like you do this bear and then you drift back to the very edge of the stage. And then if you feel like he's still close, you shield. And if he's not, you wait for him to land and then try and like either escape or like punish him being greedy with a falling bear like he did, you know? Yeah. Uh-oh, that wasn't good. Um, This is one of the spots where you get to semi-tech chase. And so it's like, you can't cover everything, but there are things you can cover. And so miss tech in and tech in are the two things you do get to cover from, like, the random double jump shine. And so it's like, you should be really ready to dash back grab this. Especially because this is a kill. Yeah. Hmm. Um, something you could do is, in, if you have good tech skill, instead of trying to do, like, shield drop double, or, like, drop through double jump back here, um, to get the hard bear here, you just need to drop through like you normally do, but then do your bear frame perfectly. Oh, don't, I don't need to jump. Yeah, yeah you don't need to jump. Cause, I'm just doing fall through bear. Yeah, because he's gonna, he's gonna turn it order and he's gonna fall on the platform. He doesn't have a choice if he drifts forward, right? And so it's like, you just need to make sure you do your bear fast enough to where your bear, like, peeks through the oh, platform. And since it goes upward, it will hit, you know? I could probably just shield drop back here if I want to make it easier. 
I think it's easier than you drop your bear. Oh, is it? Okay. Because you the bear needs to be frame perfect. Yeah. Oh, you, I see. You can't do it slow. Yeah. And so like dropping gives you like a more like I don't know how to say it. It feels like a more concrete timing in my head, and I don't have to worry about like any analog stuff other than just pressing down. There's no preci- precision involved with like me getting through the platform, you know. Yeah. And there, it makes it easier compared to like if I shield drop, I need to be both precise on the shield drop and on the bear. It just takes that one like, um, part. Yeah, I see what you're saying. This is fine. Oh, not good. You should face forward. You should be nearing. <laughs> yeah, there's should... another time where I should just be spamming aerials, like, because like if he wants to run through, he should be running into like an aerial kind of thing. I agree. He should at least and be risking he... it. Yeah, even if he like up smashes my aerial, it's like he's gonna trade. Yep. So, like it's still favorable for me. I agree. Yeah, I think the the way I generally see corner pressuring Fox is it's like if I have a set up position, I'll think about using bear. And then once I commit to something and I lose, like, the inherent advantage I kind of had before, I'll start narrowing. So it's like you whiff this bear, you don't have the time to, like, set up another bear super comfortably, so you dash back or whatever. And this is the spot where I'd start narrowing, you know? And then once I regain enough advantage, maybe he went to ledge and tried to ledge dash again or, like, stayed in shield for long enough, I'll start bearing again. That I just, like, kind of repeat through those, you know? Yeah. And since you tried to bear when you didn't have the advantage... He just got to go right past you because it's really hard to, you know, bear well enough without proper setup. Good tech chase. Um, let's see how you got this. I dashed. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> you tried to whiff punish the back air, and then you but the you were really late. It's because you missed your L cancel. You've missed a lot of L cancels. That's something that yeah. both of you have, honestly. I guess it's tournament, but something to keep in mind. I, I yeah, I mean, I assume with the percents, I just can. Even if I trade with his back air with my dash tech, I still win that trade probably. Yeah, I don't know if you get the up like smash. The, like, the, like the idea is still right, or I think dash attack is not the move to use if you want to do that, because the thing about dash attack is to get anything off of dash attack, you can't really trade. Like oh, I see what you're saying. You're gonna get you're gonna trade and then get hit back, and it's like will you get dash tech up smash now? Maybe not. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think my ultimate game plan when like they're at high percent I should just change completely, uh, because I should be like spamming like Nair more and like being more annoying, and I'm kind of like giving them easy gambles when they're at high percent. Mm-hmm. Like they should be, they should have to put so much more risk opposed to like how I'm making them play it. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like they're like putting much in to like play the interactions ever. Yeah, I I agree. Um, one thing to keep in mind is just that you don't have to, like, you winning these interactions is not urgent. You do not need to win these interactions with haste because yeah. you have the fact that if you get hit, nothing bad will really happen. And you could, like, manipulate how the game plays because you have percent advantage. Like, you could make them hit you. And in annoying ways, but they have urgency. They need to be urgent in hitting you because the more time that goes on, the longer chance that they lose a kind of random interaction that leads to their death because they're at high percent, you know? Mm-hmm. And so it's like, don't feel like, oh, he full hop buried in the center of the stage and did something shitty. I need to be there and hit him. You could yeah. be like, oh, what a horrible back air or yeah, horrible back air. And then just dash chance right here. And he'll be terrified. And if he gets hit in any way, it's really bad. And it doesn't need to happen instantly you know yeah um that is something i guess i wanted to say because when you're talking about like the dash attack it kind of made me feel like um you're like well i could and then you're talking about the nares it made me feel like oh well you know you need to always be doing things to prevent it but like the fact that you have the advantage gives you the freedom to not have to like always be making a decision it's just when you do they need to fall into these certain types of decisions you know yeah Oh, almost good invincibility. Oh my god, it's freaky. Like, what is happening? Why is it I've doing this? Seen, I've never seen Slippy do this. Why is it doing it? What's happening? Okay, whatever. It went back to normal. Um, Your invincibility was almost really good. You went up and juked. You have a, you have like a weird habit of when you go up, 
you go down. It's like you go up and then it's like, okay, I, I juked him. Time yeah, to go down. Go right back down. Yeah. It's like, no, you juking him does not mean that you get to go to the ground now. You know? Yeah, I could just like, stay up there. You juking him means that you now like have more freedom in how you make your decisions, but the, the ground still isn't safe. He's dashing forward. You will not get to the ground fast enough to be safe. And you see that because yeah. guess what? You guys literally cr cross past each other point blank, right? Like you are not safe. If there's a move out, you'd be getting hit, you know? And so yeah. that's why it's like, when you go up, you still have to be aware. You going up doesn't mean you win. You going, going up means that you're safe for now and the dynamics of the situation have changed. Yeah. It was good to dash dance for longer, but you didn't make a decision. So this is a time where... Where he's made a decision first? Is that what you're saying? It's it's more that like it's a it's about the the timing, and he did make a decision first, but like you should know that it is time to make a decision, kind of based off the context of the situation, and so it's like here, you know, you could have gone instantly. It's it's it goes back to the dichotomy where it's like you could go instantly and be super direct, or you could be more indirect, right? But then this kind of leads into like, um, because this fox is in a mix up, there are just like inherent timings for when these mix-ups could happen right and right. so it's like the first timing was right as he landed if you dash forward and attacked that's the first mix-up right the second mix-up timing is if you decide not to attack and he decides to be immediately aggressive which is the least likely of the timings but still something to be aware of so maybe now if you want to deal with that you would do like a short hop back air out of this dash back right and so that would be that mm -hmm. timing and then there's the third timing which is the most delayed where he would do dash back and then dash forward to try to do something, you know? And those are the three like relevant timings for the mix up. Does that make sense? Yeah. And now why there isn't like the wait for even longer, why that's not a part of the uh, mix up is if he just decides to dash dance right here, then he'll just like automatically get hit by like anything you do because he's still in the unreactable range, right? Like he yeah. can't, him waiting here, doesn't actually let him do anything um and so now look at the timing that he did dash back dash in right you need to be ready to hit this timing because it is the only thing at this point that's on the table you the other two timings have passed the instant timing passed and then the one delay timing has passed and once you realize both of those didn't happen you need to be ready to hit this third timing does that yeah, kind of yeah, put it all together yeah i see what you're saying yeah yeah and so now on that dash yeah, forward now, you probably should have been yeah. drilling yeah now he's taking the space too yep and now you try to do something at the a different timing and it just didn't work because mm -hmm. it fell out of the timing of the mix-ups and you didn't respond to the mix-ups and it's like it's okay to not even make a decision you could dash back here and do nothing but if you do that that means that you have to change your spacing to align with that with those intentions yeah, my spacing did not change according to him being able to take this space right here at all. Yeah. That's like a bad nair too. That's like the nair you've been talking about the whole game too. Yeah, it, it had an intention. He did actually outplay you. Like, you try, you saw that he went up to the platform and you wanted to read, read shield drop, right? And he specifically did dash back shield drop so he'd outspace this there. But oh, I, I don't think that means that the Nair... Just because you out got outplayed, I don't think that means that the Nair was good. So I do agree that it wasn't like a great Nair. Because at least from your perspective, look at the position you have. He yeah. can't do anything. You have control, you know? And so it's like, you gain value... If you just if you decide to play passively and worry about this part of the stage rather than this part, if he does the dash back shield drop and you're dash dancing right here, he is in a really bad spot. You know, he's on the ground in lag in the corner. He can't do anything. You know. Yeah, he's still stuck in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Hmm. Oh, and you messed up. You tried to do dash, ba dash bear, but you didn't jump. Understandable. On the last one, I think the last one I just tried to turn around up till. Oh, did it? 
Did you really? It's because you forward smashed. Left. Okay. Just, oh, did I? Yeah, you forward smashed. So I thought that you tried oh, to do. I don't know. How. I only see. After okay. this, you ledge dash okay. here, and then. You see how you walk for a frame? That's why I thought you were trying to do dash full hop Rizic Bear, which would make perfect mm. sense in the spot. Yeah, that would have been such a... Hmm. I've actually never thought about doing that even. It's, it's a really good. good choice. Uh, oh, yeah, that's how I die. How, how do you even get shined in the... Oh, it's because you got greedy. So the full hop yeah. wasn't the best, but it was, like, fine. But then after, you mess up, and then you try and still be aggressive. And it's like, you just... You gotta, like... I just don't get to be aggressive yeah. Yeah, you fucked up. You now have to play for positioning because you're in the corner and have no options. Like, jump up to the side plat, man. <laughs> you know? Mm. Or hold shield. Just, you have to take it. Um, But, yeah, I mean, there aren't any, like, overarching takeaways because we're just looking at each specific situation and how you play them out. But do you feel like everything that we've, like, seen has made sense? And I think, yeah, I think a lot of it has made sense. I think that... Uh, I think it is easier to like try to choose pick my spots. Like I feel like ultimately, like every time I watch like a fox sit of someone beating me, it's gonna be like that. I chose worse spots than them. Uh, cause I feel like I do feel like when I'm hitting them, it isn't even like that bad per se. Mm -hmm. I also feel like the lar like honestly, I feel like one of the overarching things was how I played my advantage so poorly. Mm -hmm. Like I I think that like. Uh, that whole first three stocks, I just had so much advantage. Yep. And I, a lot of the time, just played my advantage poorly. Um, like, I feel like he was chasing me a lot of the time. And I just was not, like, doing anything to, like... Like, I could have, like, easily, like, two or three stocked him based on how he was attacking me. Because I feel like he got outplayed quite a lot. Like, on my large percents, I feel like I was just, like, dash attacking and not, like, spamming aerials and, like, doing, like, laggy moves uh or doing like the poor nares like you were saying mm -hmm. uh but when i was like doing good it was like i was just whiff punishing him uh yep. pretty well yeah uh and i chose like 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 the spots where i'm winning are like very like good spots and a lot of it on a lot of my like lead being thrown away is just me like s like it's like me straying away from my original game plan and not knowing what to do when he's at like large percents and then like having to like play the like new scenarios out again and just like repeating the process over and over yeah yeah i i agree I, that's kind of how i how i feel about fox Ditto right now because i feel like i feel like every day i i pretty much like learn something new about uh like making my punish better because mm -hmm. honestly like G geo is done a pretty good job at like explaining like the f the neutral is like pretty important but a lot of what made him better than like everybody in SoCal was just that he could just hit everybody harder and they just can't keep up. Yeah. Uh, and like a lot of the time, you're just gonna get like a grab or a drill or like a tech chase that is like pretty good. But if you're only doing like 40, it's like it's not gonna matter. It all just that much. doesn't. Yeah, you're gonna have to win way more interactions to make anything like matter. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you, you. I think you just will win interactions in Foxitos a lot of the time, even if like. They're like maybe a poor choice or not, um, but I feel like even, like even like some of my like like good choices like if those good choices are just like so strong, then like my bad choices end up not mattering a lot of the times sometimes in Foxitos. Yeah. Um, but I also think that I need to just like super work on the crouch check chase. Like that is like I think that will like ul like ultimately like push me much farther ahead of the pack in like mm -hmm. all matchups. I feel like you can do that in all matchups too. I agree. Um. Yeah. No. I I agree. It punish at the end of the day makes the world go round. Neutral is all cool, cool and stuff, but you go on unranked and you fight a dude that apparently goes 0-2 and he hits you with a Zane combo and you're like, hmm. <laughs> I see. I I understand the level of play now. Combos are the things that matter, man. Neutral is fake news. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I feel like like I even I played train yesterday and I was like, I just feel like if I hit a little bit harder, I just would have won. Mm -hmm. like, like I just feel like I have this giant glass ceiling that is just like so close. Like I even had like a close ass set with life that I feel like just like will go my way eventually. Yeah. Uh, 
and then I played someone named Tenkatsu, and then I think that game three I was doing exactly. Imagine, imagine this game, uh, like, but well, like every good thing I'm doing, and I like was three stalking him almost, and then like he was at just like high percent, and all I was doing was dash attacking, and I just like, <laughs> my, and I just like throw my lead. I still win, but like I just like throw my three stock lead away because I just keep like dash attacking and like doing poor nares that are like getting me hit. Yeah. Like, yeah, um, the high percent will help so much because high percent did those hard. If you don't know that, you could just spam there like an idiot, you know. Yeah, how, how am I supposed to hit the fox meaningfully if I could, you know, get drill shine tech chase die, you know? Yeah, I don't even know like like what it, what is the gamble fox is supposed to do in that scenario? That even like there's not is there even anything that beats you cleanly? Like I feel like I would really have to mess up in order for them to punish me to spamming aerials. They have to really hard to read you. Like, really, like, very specifically call out the exact thing you're going to do and, like, up smash it and, like, space it well enough so it doesn't trade or, like, already know you're going to do it and then, like, whip punch it with grab after wave dashing down. Like, they they have to sit there and hard read it. And by doing that, that means that if you're, like, I'm going to nair even further forward, they would just get hit. Like, that is how the, the, the dichotomy works, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it, it feels, yeah, it, it, yeah, it just ultimately feels like I am not making people work as hard as they need to work when I'm in that situation, mm -hmm. and that is costing me a lot, a lot of the time. I, I, I agree. Do you want to watch, uh, me versus Fox to see? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, we could pull that up and go through I feel it. like I will see you do wave dash down and be like, damn, I feel like this would have been perfect. I like this. Oh, you fucking got him. Holy shit. Yeah, so this wasn't very good, because I could have... I, like, didn't position well around his double jump, and so I ended up not getting the punish. Maybe I misreacted. Maybe I misexecuted. Who knows? But this is fine. I full hop. I don't do an aerial, and I'm playing the mix-up, and he gets punished. I up air. I short hop up air. I should have up aired again instead of back aired, but I suck balls. Why do you think he, gr he tries to grab you if you're just, like, full hopping? Like, I feel like... Like, it's crazy to just try to grab you. Because if you just narrow a drill, doesn't he just get hit by it? Like, do you think his spacing is bad here, or...? I think his his sense of timing was bad. Because, mm -hmm. so, there is the thing that I could do, like, drill out of this full hop and be in more landing lag. But even still, he didn't have enough advantage for it to, like, true whip punish. But, like, I, I think in the moment, it was difficult for him to tell exactly, like, what was happening and to, like dash chance oh, grab see. it yeah yeah because he's probably i guess he's just reacting to what you're doing when you land so he he thinks you're gonna pull the trigger but you never do so his timing and spacing get messed up a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i see should have following up run on that one on the third one or the second one on whichever one i bared oh this was a falling up air, yeah that was a falling that was a dash back full hop falling up air yeah i see let's see how i if i don't kill him here Let's see how I play percent advantage. Okay, well I killed him. My yeah, fault. You can just kill him. Holy shit! You see how I play the corner? Yeah. He's literally whipping in front of me. Like I did not pay attention to any of that shit. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to get out. And I go to the platform. I get out. And I get a shine, which is like a whatever punish. Now this is a situation where. It's similar to the other ones where it's like, there's the fastest timing, which is he goes forward, I go forward, and I try and stop him. There's the second timing where I dash back and then cover him right here if he goes forward. And then there's the third timing where maybe he does a few dash chances, one, and then go in. And then I cover that. Let's see which one happens. Okay. Oh, he insta. okay. Yeah, he went insta, but then I wasn't ready to deal with insta. I thought he would do a more delayed timing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Now. But he yeah, didn't do a good shine. There. Yeah. Yeah, he missed his shine. And then you get the hold down. Yeah, that was so good. Unfortunately, you didn't hit your back here, but I mean, shit. It's net play. It's hard. I thought I thought the idea was perfect. I agree. I missed my lunch shush. Good game. Yeah. Okay. I don't have. I don't knock down with moves yet, so we'll see how I corner pressure differently. I'll probably play it a bit safer and go towards center. Yeah. Okay. I move towards is center. The, does the drill up tilt work the same like how it does on Falco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. It's a it bit more risky. It's a bit okay. riskier because the shine's bigger. Like that's why drill up tilt on Falco is annoying for him because his shine gets outranged a lot just by like you drifting. But like Fox, Fox shine hits here. You know. I see. I see. I see. 
Oh. Yeah. I don't think wave landing. Is this, this up air here? I think this is a falling up air. Yes. Falling... Oh. Dash falling up air. I see. Yeah. It, it, once they get to the higher percents, like 50s and 60s, if you want it falling up air, you have to start dashing into it because of how far they go with the uh, away DI. Yeah. Yeah. You see how if I did falling up air, I'd end up landing around right here, but he's going to land right here. Dude, it feels almost different on Dreamland what percent you should do it. It is different. You could do it from earlier percents on other stages, but yeah, Dreamland, it's definitely Kinda different. Awkward, yeah. yeah. Oh. At least I don't like the runoff, but I do like that when I did run off, I knew that I was in a shit position. And so instead of attacking, I shielded, you know? Yeah. Like how I play the corner, I play to get out, you know? I'm not here to I'm not here to whip punish him. I don't give a fuck what he's doing in front of me. I just want to get out. You know? And so mm, I get out. Yeah, I see it. I see your logic. Yeah. And then so this spot, because of what happened, this ends up creating the same spot where it's one, two, mm. or three. You know, and I pick one. And he could have stood still. And that would be the two. And he'd like up smash the snare or back back throw the snare, you know? But this one is different from the ones that you did. First off, because it was like a more like solidified mix up. Second off, because I was meeting him in the middle where your nares were meant to reach him, you know? Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's why my nares are so bad because they're not in the middle, but they're also not at the edge. Yeah. They're in like the worst place ever. They're in the super limbo. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now that I have percent advantage, let's see how I. Actually, this goes into me having percent advantage because guess what? I spam bear. He gets off the platform. Who cares? And guess what? I run up there. And it's like, this is hard for him to deal with. He could shine the shield. Oh, he doesn't. Guess what? He gets their shine. Let's see how I play the rest of this. Oh, I messed up. Oh. <laughs> but I definitely meant to hit him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he would have gotten hit here because he got fucking beasted on. Wait, do you shine? Is that what, or do you side B? I side B accidentally. But oh, I was trying to do... I thought you, trying, um, I thought you dash tacked him. I probably was trying to dash tack him, <laughs> honestly. But something made me hit the, the B button. Look how I play the corner. You see? I, I'm yeah. just like, I will hold the spot right outside the corner and play from there. Back here, this is fine. I try and do pivot nair. I accidentally full hop and miss my elf cancel, so it's awkward now. That's okay. I'll just play this situation out. I miss my timing to whiff punish that drill, but I was correct. I did read him going over me like this. Yeah. Oh, bully him with nair. Bully him with bear. He's in the corner. I'm just smashing moves. I miss. That's fine. Because guess what? I don't think this is going to be very bad. Shine towards the corner. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And guess what? We end up in this weird scramble. I can just bash aerials. Because if he does get hit randomly, that trade's way worse for him than it is for me. You know, I'm in center stage now. He has to fight. If I was down to Nair there, guess what? He'd be running into a Nair and dying, you know? Mm. And maybe that means I'm not playing these like high percent uh, mix-ups as intentionally as I should be. You know, yeah, it goes to show that like even in the spots where I do win or I I lose, if I did something that was like a nair or a bear or whatever, I would have won. You know, yeah. Now that we're both a high it. percent, this is annoying. <laughs> Understandable, <laughs> not a good nair. <laughs> yeah, you did like the middle nair, I guess. Yeah, between the middle and the edge. Yeah, let's see what happens now that he's a high percent. I like how I play the corner. Look at this. I don't I'm not worried about hitting him all that much. Like, I'll drill there, but when it doesn't work, I'm not gonna like go for a full combo. I dash chance. And then this running shine wasn't to whiff punish. This was purely I want to get out the corner, you know? You see how late I did it? Yeah. I was like, I want to get out the corner and then I'm going to shine because I know that like I at least need to pressure him if I'm gonna do anything, you know? Yeah. It's also interesting watching him play the high percent because he's kind of doing what you're telling me to do. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was an insane wave dash on the shield shine. But I am trying to make it annoying oh by using bears and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God, I wave dash in them shining me off stage. That is fucking sickening. That is. Wow, somehow you lived. Holy shit. That was good by him. I think the big issue with the bears I'm doing aren't the bears themselves. It's the fact that I'm, that I'm drifting towards them. If I was doing mm. them in place or, like, late, it'd be fine. But I think all the bears are good. That was a good back air. Nice edge guard, nerd. <laughs> and then I run under him and react to the fact that he double jumped and then just hit him. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's amazing invincibility. Oh, I had him too. But the invincibility was, yeah, that's how I should do it. Yeah. You got to the top platform and then you didn't just come back down. You like, you're like, well, I'm going to take my time up here. I'm going to shield and then move to the next one and then take my time again. Yeah. It's super good. Now, nah, if I didn't fuck up, he would have gone back there, but that's okay. <laughs> Waiting at the corner. I'm not, you know, thinking about hitting him here. I don't give a fuck. I see. How did I miss that? I suck balls. That's crazy. Also, this drill is another thing. I meet him in the middle rather than going all the way in. Or yeah, yeah. Nice. You just read him dropping. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he got shined. Invincibility. Oh, this is different. So I do the same, like, top platform movement, but I'm paying attention. Look at his horizontal spacing. It's different. Because this time, instead of stopping or anything, he runs all the way over. And you see how yeah. I saw that he was running over, and I was like, if I were to drop down from here, look at where I'm at. He'd be right on top of me. And so I jump back, right? And then I get the center stage for free, and now, if he does a wave land off back here, I'm probably going to grab it. I... <laughs> I was okay. trying to hit it. I didn't. I don't think I was trying to grab specifically, but I was like very keen on the fact that he might do a, like wave land off action thing. Yeah. Nice out the corner again. Even like when I sp randomly end up in the corner, I'm not even all the way in. I'm like I'm getting out, you know, and that's okay. I like this really good wave dash down. I use shield to react. That was a good CC. To be honest, probably not the best there. Probably should have drilled. How did he CC there? Wasn't he shielding? What? He didn't probably actually not a shield. If you look, he'll probably wave shield? dash. Yeah, see, probably wave dash is, is and then down. he's holding down, so then he hits the ground. Yeah. Oh. Take my time. I read him in the corner. I messed up, but he'll die anyways. Yeah. But yeah. The big parts in this match were all just the corner play. It's just like, I play corner well. I will, like, do moves reasonably, and then, like, if I have advantage, I'm not going to, like, super hard press it. I'll press it. I'll try and, like, you know, do things, but I'm not too worried about it. And also, I had pretty good combos and edge guards. I think yeah, he died off I'll... every edge guard. I would argue that more important than neutral sometimes is literally just, like, how are you getting out of the corner a lot of the time? It's like you're saying, like, how uh, a lot of the time you would just lose, like, the corner, the amount of times you'll win interaction in the corner is, like, 20, 80 for the person in the corner. Like, uh, like I feel like getting out of the corner, honestly, is just, like, so valuable. Yeah, I, I agree. I also think a way to think about it is instead of thinking about neutral, like, to, like, maximize your value, instead of thinking about it in terms of, like, maximizing how many times you win neutral, it's minimizing how many times you lose neutral when you shouldn't. That's, like, yeah. one of the more important parts is, like, you watch X mid-level player play, they're not, they're neutral fucking blows. But they have random situations where they execute well or react well that prevent them from, like, losing in the worst way possible. Like, damage control is a lot. Until you get to, like, the higher levels, damage control is more important than, like, proactive decision-making in neutral. Unfortunately. Yeah. Or fortunately, depending on what you like. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, well, that is a good stopping point. If you have any more thoughts or questions, um, DM let me you. know. I'll yep. DM if you got, if I got anything. Yeah, sure. I appreciate the help again. Yep. Um, I, is our, can you see when our next lesson is? I could is pull it? it up now. Is it the 21st or is it the 28th? We'll see right now. That's the wrong account. I could also do my Google Calendar, actually. Jeffrey Palmer. Huh. Uh, scheduled events. 21st. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. I uh, will talk to you on the 21st again, then, probably. Okay, sounds good. All right. Peace, Billy. Later.